if you're using a Toby Dynavox i13 eye gaze device and you want to check the positioning of the user's eye gaze, another way you can do this is by using one of these shortcut buttons at the front. Commonly, this triangle button on the bottom left is automatically programmed from purchase to bring up the track status box. So I touch and hold that. You can see the track status box has quickly appeared and I can check the positioning of my eyes, that they're in the center and that arrow is sitting in the green ideally. If you're using a device such as the Toby Dynavox iMobile 5, which doesn't have those shortcut buttons on the bottom of the screen like a Toby Dynavox i13, and maybe you're not using grid, so you might not have access to the eye tracking settings within that, there is an icon on the desktop where you can go to um, check where a user's eyes are positioned and calibrate. And it's this green eye tracking settings icon here. I'm going to double tap to open. Okay. And you can see now my eyes are appearing in that track status box on the right hand side. I want them to be centered and I want that arrow in the colored band on the side to be in the middle. I can also use this page to set up user profiles um, to calibrate for a new user and change settings such as how dwell time as well as the sort of visual feedback that a user is getting.